going for a combination of the uh, uppercut and the hook, not landing either. Break! Stop! Break. Bharadwaj, how many times have you seen Break. boxers so imbalanced Box. going into a punch? You know, when you are throwing your left and right or any punch, and if you are not maintaining balance, it shows that you are not uh, trained well and uh, your efficiency of boxing in the international is not there. Really a scrappy bout at the moment. But irrespective, one of these two is going to be eligible for a medal. Irrespective of the fact that this really isn't the highest standard of boxing. It is, always, it is always there in the boxing because if you get a good draw, in the very beginning you get a medal without having any more efforts in the international. And you know, the best thing is uh, that good thing is that, you know, he has won against Benny Ball, you know, our one of the good boxers. Well, I'm sure the uh, national coach here, Sandhu, would have a lot of heartburn looking at this bout. Definitely, because when he sees that these boxers do not have a standard and one of our good boxers has lost from him, how it is possible? Stop. We've seen uh, a minute and 40 seconds go by in this second round and yet not a single point scored in this round. In the first round, of course, the uh, boxer from Mauritius, Ricardo Collin, has taken a two-point lead. And that's what stands even now. Oh, there's a strong right. Left hook, it was a beautiful left hook used by the Mauritius boxer against his opponent of Kenya. Benival would be thinking, what an opportunity I missed out on. Looking Definitely he might be you now upset after observing his opponent now because that time he might be in tension or you know might be overconfident and now he might be feeling bad after observing his opponent that he do not have a proper standard of boxing for the international. Again, losing his balance there. Just trying to evade the blow and going down on his haunches. That's Ricardo Collin. You might have seen the best thing was that mean the Mauritius boxer is having a very good counter attack. He has just uh, adopted on his opponent. No doubt he is. He could not score the point, but at the same time his counter attack was excellent with the right. Time's running out in this uh, second round as well. Box. For Black Moses Mathinge. Still trailing by a couple of points. Uh, that's the Huta to end round two. Two to nothing. That's the way it goes at the moment for uh, Ricardo Collins. Well, the cheer going up uh, from the crowd. It wasn't for this bout, it was for the bout that's coming up. That features the Indian. say one thing looking at the animated response of the Mauritius coach I almost felt he was in the ring himself <laughs> the final three minutes that'll count the last round of this bout Stop! 
Somebody's got to tell them this is not a wrestling match. It's a boxing bout. Box. A scrappy fight this. Punches being traded, but not without a lot of force or on target. Radar needs a little readjustment. Referee to control the board, but at the same time, uh, he has to go on with the same specific boxes according to their standard you know it was a good attack of uh, kill in boxer with the right but could not land on the target it was open gloves could not score a points it was again left hook used by Mauritius boxers Stop! it is definitely it's not a boxing it's a wrestling and both do not have a proper control on their foot as well as the punching hand. Even though the Mauritius boxer who has scored the two points, he does not look like a, a boxer with the scientific technique of the boxing. What do you say about that? He's barely being able to hold what? his own. I mean, forget about uh, hitting your opponent. He's barely being able to control his own body weight. There's no real strategy here in terms of what line of attack to go for. Aimless throwing of punches hasn't led to any points being scored. Clock's ticking down, 30 seconds Ten. and under. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. The mandatory eight, eight count. Box. Stop. Box. Don't go around in circles, engage. That's what the referee is telling uh, the Mauritius boxer, Ricardo Collin. Time's ticking away. He's already got a three point lead, so he knows he can just wait till the clock ticks off, and that's exactly what's happened. Three to nothing, and Ricardo Collin is assured of at least a bronze, if not more, in these uh, Commonwealth Boxing Championships. Definitely, I will say that he's uh, one of the luckiest boxers to reach in the semi final and won a bronze medal for his country or a silver medal if he wins in the semi-final itself. Landing a strong right there to the face. There you see it. That was a scoring point for uh, Ricardo Collin. Three to nothing. That's the scoreline in this light welterweight uh, 64 kg category bout. And it means that Collin is through to the semi-finals and should be up against Scott Cardle. And that really is going to be another mismatch that's going to happen later. Sometimes you know in the boxing luck play by the way. Winner in the blue corner, Ricardo Collin from Mauritius. The boxer from the Mauritius in the blue dress has won the bout against his opponent. Yes, high fives all around and why not? You're short of a medal from here on, Ricardo Collin. And you're going to see a cheer go up in the, in the spectator stands. 91 kilograms. The officials for this bout are referee Fatayoti Motipedi from Botswana, judge number one Alvin Sargent from Bahamas, judge number two Messner Helmut from Austria, judge number three.